moments are small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at Hello, good morning everyone Welcome to a nice autumnal Sunday. Yeah, I'm hoping everyone remember to put their clocks back an hour. I oh, know we did, didn't we? But, yeah. but bless him, Sammy will still wake up at his normal time. So technically, it was seven o'clock to Sammy, but original time would have been six o'clock, wasn't it? Um, so we made him get back to bed for now. But he was quite happy there. What is he start watching his telly or put down all his tablet and stuff like that? So anyway, yeah. So we're, um, we are now at Hatton Country World this morning. Um, gonna go pumpkin picking, aren't we? As well, yeah. If we, obviously the kids get a pumpkin each so they can come up here as well so we'll, we might do it we might oh, do yeah. it here all well, depends on what sort of move ends in at the minute so uh, and then also we can do the normal feed the goats and things like that so not I too quite sure not too quite sure what we're going to do first but because i'm so used to going to the toilet so that's our first stop so, I mean, look at, yeah the scarecrow <laughs> all these ones here well lots and lots of pumpkins everywhere aren't there so we just had a temperature taken which is good. So I'm going to put our wellies on. It's quite muddy in places. So then we need to go to which one is it? One of these ones here, I think. I'll be careful copyrighting music actually. So, so yeah, as you can see, there's lots of pumpkins everywhere. So we decided to feed the animals first. Have we feed up when we get our pumpkins? So we, so we've got we got one each. This is pretty good, and then obviously the hat and Christmas things. This is really, normally, the hat and things really good at Christmas time, but obviously, not too quite sure what's happening at the minute because of obviously the meeting groups of Father Christmas and stuff. So, anyway, so let's go feed the animals. Oh wow, they're in really nice in here with all the things in here. Last time I was in here, one of the sheep went crazy at me, so hopefully, he won't do the same on the sheep in here. Come on, then, sweet, I don't get give all to him, will ya? I say, I want to feed the goats. What do you want? Do you want some sweet? You want some? There we go. Is that nice? Do you want some as well? Do you want some? There we go. That's it. So I'm going to save some for us, the goats as well, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh. Got some little goats. Hello, look. Oh, hello. Do you want some? Do you want some? Yeah. There we go. Do you want some? There. Is that nice? Sammy, what about the little baby one down there, darling? Yeah, give the little baby one some. That's it. Can you reach it? That's it. Sammy, it's up. Oh, Sammy's just tipping all the thing in. And down there, got some little baby bun. Oh, not baby bunnies, but quite big bunnies. Down there. Hello, Mr. Go. We see you want anything. Can you hear all those sheep? Making that noise. Oh, these are those little deers. Oh, obviously, obviously it's their please not feed us a special diet yet. I saw these on their Facebook page the other day. They're sweet. I can't remember what they're called. They're called actually. No, they've got special names. And then around here. Obviously, it's all quite decorated, quite Halloween y. Hello, piggies. Yeah. I do think those deers over there. They're quite silly. So please give us space. We are brand new and a little nervous. If you mem if please speak to mum and stuff if you have any questions. Oh, they cute there's three little deers. All oh, the piggy wiggies here, as I said. Oh they've got down there as well. And then Oh that one's asleep. Oh, they're cute. Oh, please not feed us, it'll make us poorly. I've said that last time as well. Well, there's 
piglets are certainly growing up since this first in the summer. There's only little one we um, come. I've got this like, newborn actually, they were. Hello, Mr. Piggy. I don't think I don't think have any of this. I really don't know. I don't think I have any of this stuff. Oh, no. Do not feed the pigs. Sorry, you can't have any. Oh, Lord. Oh, my sweet. Hello. Sorry, you can't have anything. Look. So it looks like we came up with those little piglets we saw, what had just been born. Oh, yeah. Look, they certainly grown, haven't they? So that's one that barred at me last time because I won't give them any food. Sorry. Again, we can't feed you, can we? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Hello. I think because I want food. Yeah. Can we feed this one? This is a go. I don't know if we can feed you. Yeah, Hang on, I'm guinea pig Billy. Look at this little guinea pig here. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Guinea Pig. And here we go. Where's he going? Oh, so she. This is female section. Oh, hello. Isn't that cute? Mr. Guinea Pig. Oh. Look at this. I'm making you see that snake. All the pumpkins. See so what different kind of they're decorated quite nicely for Halloween. I doubt it's gone into there as needs to be um, scales and tails next section. And obviously more guinea pigs on my half obviously that's been fed so go in there on there and wash your hands and get into the scales and tails. Run in there darling. No. All in here. All in here. There goes somebody look at the snake. Look at this one. This is a royal python. Hello, Mr. Snake. Hello. I think these ones are empty. Oh, they're finding some, oh, some geckos in there. I think they're hiding in there somewhere. This is a leopard gecko. You can see it's just there. And there's a little, there's the house snake, which is the hide and see hiding there in the rock. There you go, Sammy, here they are. Look, I think they're waiting. I think they can sense what we've got. Yeah. Oh, look, oh, look, oh, look. Oh, hello. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah. Sammy, Sammy, be careful, so darling. Yeah. Don't give them too much, don't we, darling? Okay, Ben's gonna have a go trying to feed them as well now. Come on then, Ben. That's it. That's it. Don't give more to him. Don't be piggies. They are hungry out there. Bless. Hello, Mr. Gills. Don't give more to him, darling. Just says to Lammy not to give him all. Is that nice? Probably let's go in and look at the pigs now. No, look at the piggies. Oh, darling, you give this one, Nanny. Do you want some? Are you hungry too? Yeah, Sammy, look at this one. <laughs> oh, darling, what about this one? <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, are you striking the goats, Ben? Are you striking those goats? That's it, you've had enough now. Don't be a piggy. Don't be, I'm really so quite surprised I don't actually hurt themselves. Um, I get the hay stuck in the wire. Well, he got me cut down there. Yeah. <laughs> Brown goat here is actually attracted to Sammy, probably because he can see what Sammy's actually got. Then, yeah, you've had some. Yeah, you've had some, haven't you, my darling? I'd love to know how they actually escape because when, when we come down back in the sun, some actually escape. Hello, Mr. Donkey. Hello, Mr. Donkey. Eh, ah. Eh, ah. Hello. There you go, Sammy. Can you see that one there? It's on the bridge. Why are we going up here? We've got up here, so it's up here, aren't we? So animals have got up here. And then look, he's still after more, that brown goat. <laughs> with, the, with the one of the sneeze. You've had plenty. Don't be a piggy goat. There's a little sheep.
over here. That's one thing I like about here, it's nice, just that country air. This is really, really nice up here. Oh, what's up there? There you go, Sammy. Look at all that mud in with those pigs. I bet those pigs actually enjoy having all that mud to lay about in and things. Look, yeah, I'm really, really messy. <laughs> huh? Oh, wait, there's Sammy. So we've just fed the animals now, haven't we? And uh, that's one thing I do like, actually. Oh, they all asleep. That's one thing, they've got like the animal feeding points, so you can still feed all these. Obviously, they don't get their head stuck and things like that. Okay, this is an animal, this is an animal feeding saying, please put the. There it goes, so, yeah, so that's what off to go like that. So, anyway, Sammy, pumpkins over there, up in the field up here, so we should go and pick up pumpkins. Yeah? Go that. I don't know, we'll have a look around then, see about, see about cutting them if you want to. Oh. Hello, Mr. Goat. Hello, Mr. Goat. So, you've had everything, we've got to get, we've got to get some more food, haven't we? Yeah, get you some later. Go and look. That's one thing, like I said, like I said, it's so quiet here, which is nice. Uh, you can tell they've said they still let um, cap capacity, which is really good because you can, that'd be nice. I know you can join. Oh, Sammy, you've got the goat escaped. Look, two goats have escaped. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Mr. Goat. Have you escaped? Yeah. I got, oh, you're after snacks in my bag. Hello, Mr. Goat. Hello. Hello. Why did you, what can you escape from? <laughs> oh, well. As I said, so normally they have the like, laser combat things on. I think the pumpkins are up here, she just say. So we're up by the fairground. So I see if we can find it in a minute. So Columbus carried pumpkin seeds on his return trips to Europe. And obviously the pumpkin patch is up here, which is pretty good. So we've just found it. Oh, was it so this one, Sammy? Six of the seven contain continents can grow pumpkins. Antarctica is the only continent that they won't grow in. I suppose so, because it's too cold. <laughs> What's well, this over there, Sammy? But this pumpkin one over here. It's mine, the big puddle. There we go. Pumpkins are believed originated in North America. Seeds from the from the related plants have been found in Mexico, dating back to seven thousand to five thousand to 5,000 before C and then this one over here Native Americans use pumpkin seeds for food and medicine and I could you can actually raise pumpkin seeds I've never had pumpkin before so I'm going to have to try it one day there's another pumpkin there it's dressed up so I imagine it is up here somewhere it's got to be up here, it's got to be up here somewhere it has to be they said it was play fairground. I guess up here somewhere. I get pumpkin patches up here. I've oh, got some more facts about pumpkins around here as well, have we? Oh, it's the same, same ones. So yes, we just reached the fields of pumpkins. Obviously, so there's lays down there. But of course, so Samuel here, yes, he wants to find a big, massive pumpkin. The big, massive pumpkins are up this top corner up here. So. I don't know why it was a big pumpkin for. I really, really don't know. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, it can be really nice to use up here. I can't wait to see that actually. Um, I'm glad. Put well, he's on. As you can see, it's rather, rather boggy and yucky. So, Sammy, why did you want to pick a big pumpkin for? Yeah. Why? There you go. Are these big enough for you, or are they still too little? They're still too little. Okay. That's a nice. Yeah, that's a nice, decent size, isn't it? That one is. I want to see more big ones up here. I want to see more big ones up here then, shall we? Oh, my things were 
yeah. Go on there, what's that? My name's Bluebell and I've got a secret to tell. My markers make a picture. It looks re you look really well. Look really hard and do not dwell. Then shout out the answer as clear as the bell. Okay. I'll tell you what's happening. Your pumpkin you picked is heavy. Obviously you can carve your own over there, but we decided we could do ours at home. Um, probably one day in a week with Ben. Three super class in the safe space and things like that. And you can take his time with it. So... Yes, it's been a really good day so far. Well, so good morning actually at the minute, so I can't believe I've got the time's actually gone. But here's I mean more pumpkins. Do what there's loads and loads of smashed pumpkins up there. I actually stood on one. They went everywhere. So yeah, so Ben's come over to here. He walked over here by himself, bless him. I think he's it's a lake. Um because obviously he's, This is a makeshift one, isn't it? This is a makeshift lake, this is, yeah. You can see that. You can actually, so yeah. It's all nice and peaceful here though, isn't it? All the swans over there. Never forget that swan that family can now wait and hissed at me. Mm. You right, my darling? Yeah? The truck tri is not open this time of day, is it? Because of what's happened and things. So yeah, so this is normally where the tractor rides go from. Obviously you go right around, don't you? Yeah. And obviously they haven't done it this year, obviously with, with what's been going on yeah. and things like that. But it's, so I said, this is nice and quiet up here. Or diffuse. As Sam was saying, that thing there, let's see if I can zoom in on my phone. I don't think you can see very well. But that thing there pointing up there, that's actually Guy's Tower from Warwick Castle. Just goes to prove to you. Oh yeah, and also the church is there. So that just goes to prove, prove to you how far or how not so far it is actually from Warwick because we're at Warwick again on Wednesday so it should be pretty good and so yeah Sammy can you see can you see those cows in that field yeah so yeah so that's the pumpkin Ben actually picked he actually picked that himself didn't he that one and then this is the pumpkin here that Sammy picked which is in which is in in there so you want darling for darling I guess I'm like hungry. Get, you come back again. Yeah, I think probably is, they're not the probably after, don't you? Some is pizza. pizza. Don't you dare give them that. It's no, not, not good for them. You can't give them pizza, and if you give them pizza, that so good. Make them so so poorly, wouldn't it? That make you poorly. You've had mm. pizza. You'll probably enjoy it. <laughs> probably really would do. So anyway, yeah, speaking of um dinners and things like that, has just something to eat. So what they were really really nice what they done in the restaurant, wasn't they? We said about gluten free for Ben, they cooked some gluten free sausages especially for him, which is really, really nice. No, no, it's not yet. So, hello. I don't know, if we come back and get some more penny, we'll, we'll go back and get some more feed and come back and feed you ones again. Got them over there, Sammy? Yeah, so it seems to said during the lockdown, they, they got so lonely, bless them. There you go, look. Yeah, they did. Look at that one's having a drink. Hello, look cute. Hey, what, should we get some goats for the garden? <laughs> I've got I've teeth. I know, they've got some chickens. I can't see why. It should be right fine having a goat. I'm sure we can keep them as pets. I know someone who's got um, ducks. Look at this one. <laughs> it's a lot of look. Oh, bless, hello. <laughs> Thinking you can come and feed me. Mm. <laughs> of course, pulled the lightning in the railing down. Oh, yeah. God oh, bless him. You can smell chips. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking, oh, that sounds better than my pouring food. God <clears throat> oh, bless him. No, oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be nasty. Look at that tongue. Thinking, of... <laughs> tell you what, the horse isn't here today. You don't your feet on the floor. You can't have it now. Oh, there it is, darling. Horses up there. The top field up there. When we come down in the summer, it was right here, wasn't it? And it was um, at Ben Stroke and everything else. Say so here, it could be in the hair. Just don't know. So anyway, so we're gonna go down to the falconry bit now. So yeah, so like I said, listen to the falconry bit now. That we've never ever seen one of the birds of prey shows here, have we? I'm not even too quite short time, we time they start. I know, I think we saw them at Warwick, haven't we? So again, this is the Harris Hawk. There. The Ben? Can you see the bird? Oh, a plane. 
Is it a bird or is it a plane? No! Where is it? Oh, there's a plane up there. <laughs> and then, got the Harris Hawk in there as well. So what? They've got quite a lot of Harris Hawks in here, haven't they? There's that one there. No, it's the um, winter one this time. I think so, yeah. I know the winter birds are probably sure at work isn't as good as Falconer's Quest. But well, don't forget what they said half the birds can't fly in winter, can they? No. Look. There you go, Sammy. I, I wonder. Hello, Mr. Barnow. Hello. Twitter, woo! So, this one in here is an American kestrel. Hello. Did you come closer? Because it was on your top boat, wasn't you? No, yeah, you're quite tiny, aren't you, for a little bear? For a best for the bear to pray. There we go. That one, just there. This is a long eared owl in that one, which is that one up there, so I can zoom in so you can see him. There he is. <coughs> this one in here, again, is a, is a barn owl, and he's in there. Once we've got in here, that's a Barnbury falcon in there. That, this one is a Sol Saker falcon. This is on here. Most birds of prey are solitary. They live on their own. They'll, they'll hunt other bears. So we tether the bears to stop them from killing each other. Each bird tethers the weather permitting is flown every day. Oh. That's, that one's a Merlin. That one is there. And also that one there is a white faced owl. Which is that one there. And those ones there, all empty down there. Tell you what, this is one big owl. This is a great grey owl. Look at the size of him. He's absolutely huge. Really, really huge. Oh, and this one down here is in the corner. This is a snowy owl. Mm. Oh, the kid's cute. He's just sick. You know why they're sick for something? They come out at night, don't they? It's not, it's awake. It's opened his eyes. You proved this wrong, darling. <laughs> oh, bye bye, Mr. Owl. So in there, we've got like a little wallaby. Oh, there was one there. There's only two of them. Where's the other one gone, I wonder? It's behind the shed. It's, you know what, Sammy? Wallabies relate to the kangaroo. Did you know that? I know. Oh, bless. Oh, no. Oh, look. I love the way they jump. I think it's for jump the thing. Where we've just been, see the owls, don't we? Yeah. Sammy, don't you on that, darling? Oh, you bless him. Is he going to. Is he going to. Is he staying now? Is he going to move? Look, look what he's cleaning. Look, Sammy, he's cleaning himself a wash. And then, normally over there, they do that the sheep race. And it's so funny to see the sheep race. We've seen it, we come last time. It was so funny. I've never seen the sheep run so fast. That's what they used to do over here. I'll see the gates over here as well. Another thing they're doing is like a um, treasure hunt thing with the pumpkins. You have to, um, I think it's about six or eight of them you have to find. And the other thing is like, what's like a competition where you can win 50 pounds of vouchers. So we found guinea pig, sheep, and duck so far. What's that, Sammy? Don't go on that up there. The house of the skelter. You don't go on the house of skelter, you sure? That's what they do, like, also, they've got like all the big. Garden games here as well. So, but tell what, Ben's really, really happy, and really, really relaxed. So, which is really, really lovely. To see him. I don't want to go down. You what, darling? I don't. You don't go on there now. Yes, yeah, I don't know. If this is going to come out very well. We're just heading back now from Hatton. I'd wear that outside because it's absolutely tipping it down. But look outside. Having put it out, it's a, it's a double rainbow. It's supposed to be good luck, is it? We see a double rainbow. Um. So yes, the best had a really, really lovely day. He actually really, really enjoyed it. So we do enjoy Hatton today. Yeah. yeah. What's the time? The time. I don't know what the time is actually. So um, anyway, so he was just heading home now because Steve needs to get some fuel. So we're going to stop into BP up on the way home. So yeah.
okay so this is back from Hatton so this is the pumpkin that Ben chose isn't it and look at this big massive pumpkin here's the one that Sammy chose Sammy wants to weigh them see how much they actually weigh don't you I didn't realize Ben's pumpkin's got a bit funny there so that should be fun because we're going to carve them this week anyway so well then Sammy do put Ben's pumpkin on the scale to see how much it weighs how much does Ben's pumpkin weigh let's have a look oh let's turn it on Ben's pumpkin weighs hang on what's happened there Try that again. So you can see the Ben's pumpkin weighs 2.6 to 86 kilograms. How much do you think your one weighs? Do you think it weighs more than that or less? More. Definitely weighs more, doesn't it? So let's go find out how much more it weighs. So then you can see Sammy's big pumpkin weighs nearly 5 kilograms of pumpkin. You have fun carving that out now, aren't you? Yeah. Probably over one day. What do you want to do it? Um, sometime next. What do you want to do it? Thursday or Friday? Friday. We're doing, okay, we're, we're doing Friday, obviously they'll be fresh then, won't they? Because Saturday's Halloween, isn't it? So there you go, the size difference. So yeah, so that brings Sunday's vlog to a close. You're right, Benjamin, darling. Um, yeah, so we had a really, really good day today at Hatton Country World. Really, really do recommend it. Um, it's really great in the summer as well, isn't it? Yeah. Um, this was the first time we went up there, got the pumpkins. I don't know, also they did like a haunted house type thing you could walk through. And they also did like have some haunted um, entertainment thing, didn't they? Like a show type thing. But the only thing I don't like about going there is the roads you have to go down. I know, they're so narrow, so narrow country roads. And obviously coming home, um, we also obviously stuck to our side of the road. And there was this woman, because she comes speeding down, didn't she? You can't really stick to a side of the road down there, because it's that narrow. It should be a one way only. It should be really, shouldn't it? So, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, like I said, they did have like the haunted house thing you can walk through and some entertainment show up there as well. We did do those because um, last time we went in summer, we stopped trying the entertainment things and Ben found it boring, didn't he? And mm. uh, we didn't want to upset him because obviously he's had a really, really great day. I was like, oh, I do have my concerns though, because obviously when we was walking through the field, I just had the visions of falling, <coughs> in all, falling all over in the mud. <laughs> that would be funny. That? What's that? Did you vlog any going on the field? Yeah. Well, I must have watched it back. Yeah. Oh, you didn't see it, did you? So mm. I did vlog some of the things, but... All, the amount of pumpkins they got up there was unbelievable. Just utter crazy how many they had. Um, obviously, they did have some damage ones up there, didn't they? Some of the squash and things like that. Because um, yeah, if you saw. Putting tread on one and it went everywhere. <laughs> oh, my flimmy trousers. Well, I know, it's forget to change the trousers, aren't you? But yeah, you can see the marks of it down there. <laughs> oh, yeah. But Ben thought it was funny though, did he? Yeah, so he loved it there today and stuff like that. And also with those goats, bless them and stuff like that. It's amazing how tame they actually are. Yeah, I'm glad I said take the wellies with you. I am glad, yeah, because I wasn't going to bother taking my wellies originally. It's just going to go in our normal shoes. But it seems that no, take your wellies. But then I was reading actually on, on their Facebook page, it does actually say we do recommend wellies if you're picking the pumpkins. So there you go. So anyway, guys, yeah, so. um. Um, bless him. Obviously, it's bath night tonight as well. Bless him. So, Ben's just had his bath. You see, there he is. Bless him. He's laying on his bed and he's watching. Well, he's watching Charlie and Lola. So he loves Charlie and Lola. So we've noticed also um, we've been watching Sea Beebies at night time. Except was him down a bit, like because obviously he, we used to put Sea Beebies part of his bedtime hour anyway, didn't we? So anyway, guys, just want to say thanks for watching today. Don't forget like, comment, and subscribe, and then we we'll see you tomorrow. Heading off into Bambi tomorrow afternoon. So what's popping to the entertainer? So. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Where are you going, Kate?